starting live welcome welcome back everybody it's your girl ellie and we are here in the den once again got your co-host here waverly jones yeah yeah what's going on once again it's on it's scope time it's your boy way jones the round table the brown table podcast you dig it's goat time so y'all excuse all the technical difficulties i'm just still trying to figure things out um this is my first time doing like a zoom call interview but we got it figured out we gonna make it work so give me one second let me add my girl Damn, Summer Jam was just today and yesterday. Wow. Miss it again. We were just talking about Summer Jam. Yeah. Then we said it was, yeah. Said it was a vibe and a roof picnic. You add and you sis. And we got Big Sexy in the building. If you can, rotate your screen, sis. Again, right there. Oh, okay. we in here. We in here. It it took some trial and error, but guess what? We got it figured out. So what's up, girl? Oh, How you doing? We go. We gonna start it over. Like it ain't even happened. We just gonna keep it going. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. All right. So we back, we back, we back. It's like delay or something. In the den, that's what I think. I think it might be a delay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. We in there. So we got your girl, Felicia, unlady like Diva Murphy, who is the yes, owner. The one and only. The one and only unlady like Diva, my A1 back back from day one. Hey, all right. <laughs> anyway, um, so friends, what's up? What's going on? What's new, man? Tell us about what you got going on. For most of y'all who already know, this is this is Hustle Queen right here, but I'm gonna let her speak on it herself. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Tell them what you got going on here, sis, and let's get into it. Well, I'm uh, as she already done told you who I am already. You know, I'm the CEO of a lady like Pleasures LLC, okay. and what I do is I sell toys as well as lingerie, massage oil, body oil, lubricant, all that good old stuff to make you have a good, good fun night. Oh, we're gonna have to have a drink to that, yes. So, um, again, just to spin it back, so tell us how long have you been uh, doing this and what made you start? Okay, well, I started selling um, selling, uh, selling toys no, I, <laughs> I want to say December 2020 when, when I started. Okay. And, you know what, what made me want to sell toys because, I, like I said, I've always been fascinated with the art of sex. Yes, ma'am. Like I was in the tree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. And listen, listen, y'all. Big Sexy definitely got some pointers for y'all who, you know, been in relationships yeah. for a long time or, you know, just trying to try something new or, you know, this is the lady that you go to right here. So we, we, we getting back into it. We getting back into it. So before we get started, now that we got everything up and running, what we do uh, before, you know, we get into the good, good stuff, we do what's called a little fit check. So Felicia is actually wearing some of the stuff that she yeah. sells. So let's get into it. Let's get wait, into wait, it. Wait, 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 get into this here. Oh, yeah, oh. Um, this is one of my lady-like um, pleasures uh, outfits here. Um, okay. With the tank. Okay. Okay, something comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. And this is available on um Unladylike Pleasures. This is available on the website. Yes. Yes. All right. So drop your cash app and your link, sis. Let them know where they can get the stuff at. It's 
show. For sure, for sure. She had, she, listen, she had. I was just making crazy sure she stuff. wasn't going to say yes, that. Yes. Toys going on. Oh, my God. I was just saying. With none of her toys showing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. He said he hope you ain't stand up with one of your toys on. <laughs> Okay. okay. And we is on Facebook. Anyway, so we go ahead and get our keep our fit check going. Go ahead, wave. Let's show them what you got on. Um. So, <laughs> um, um get my shit right. He nervous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a uh, my brown table hat. You know what I'm saying. You know, fifty nine fifty. Get you one. You know, they custom made. I like the boy Waverly Jones. The round table seven one six on G Bell. We can get you one of those. Um, I got my man. Uh, shout outs to my boy Twin Two Times Trap. Uh, Trap Enlightenment E N T. Got one of his shirts on. I don't know if I can see the back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. Uh, I got okay. the good, the good, uh, good black shorts. I don't know the short shorts. They, they're like short. They shorts. close to hoochie daddy shorts. You see my knee. <laughs> okay, and then uh, just the you know the good old twelve oh, little low top metallic blacks. Yeah. All right, guys. So we were running late today. So you know That's I'm dressed, but I'm not dressed. I just got on some little summertime stuff on a little brown shirt, a little multi color. <laughs> Um, I ain't gonna show y'all my shoes. I mean, my God toes damn. and stuff is done, but I ain't, I got on house shoes, so God I ain't gonna damn. do y'all like that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's get back into it, sis. Oh, what kind of products oh, you got? Show us some of your my, merch. My Michael Jackson curl is back. Oh my with, God. The, with the I'm back glasses. Not the Michael Jackson curl. Mm-hmm. The Michael Jackson curl with the I'm back. Oh, Lord. Girl, I'm back. Can I Oh my my goodness. So, what you got out for us, sis? Show us some products. Well, well, first of all, I want to start with uh, my scrap on, you know what I'm saying? It's St. June's Pride Month. So, I got a nice little scrap on right here for those. (laughs) Y'all get into it. Get into it. Drop your cash app, sis. Drop your cash app. If y'all need something, whatever you're into, this is the person that you have at. Whatever you like, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I rebuke you, Satan. (laughs) (laughs) We got a little something for everybody, whatever your pleasure is. Yes, and that's exactly what my thing say. What's your pleasure? Right. Happy Pride Month. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get into it. Holler at my girl. And hey, get your swerve on. So I'm interested in these bunny ears thing that Val was talking about. Okay, Val, what you talking about with the bunny ear? (laughs) She was saying her her first toy was the rabbit ear. Oh, no, I thought you had one. All right, don't y'all get quiet now, cause y'all was going up. Yeah, so I never said she was going back up. Rabbit ears. So I do have everybody. I say everybody talk about the rose. You know, so I hear a lot of people talk about the rose, and I, I and that's one of my top sellers is the rose. Like, as quick as I get them in, I sell them out fast. Even I when we have ordered one, they say they been they burn their rose out, meaning they wear the rose out. They were I don't know about that. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot. Yes. I've had people that come go, I need another rose. I need another rose. I wanna come up with a thing called the whole garden. Since they just got <laughs> one last rose. It's gonna be a whole compact. I ain't even gonna tell you. It's gonna take care of everything at one. And it's gonna choke you at the same time. Oh it's my gonna, God. Gonna, <laughs> Like a plastic hand and just be over your neck. It's going to be shaped like one of those stand-up scooters. <laughs> Maybe two wheels and the handle. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so talk, uh, show us the products, uh, sis. Show us the product. Talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It'll give you a penetrate for clitoral stimulation as well as vaginal stimulation. 
No. You see what I'm saying? In the way it's made, it got the little hook in there guaranteed to hit that G spot. So you're going to get that, that nut this way and that way. So while it's in there, it's in the vagina, and it's going to be tickling that pearl song. Oh, Lord, have mercy, yeah. Listen, okay, that's, that's the one. Now, now, can I ask you if, so if, yeah. my, if my hand get cut off tomorrow, can I attach uh -huh. that to my right wrist and use that? <laughs> That's my right hand. Well, I better yet. What about this here? Put this on your right hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sis, what's that? This here is this. Oh, yeah, that's what I just said. Look. You, you see, see it? Okay. He know about that. It's the oh. So does it like, like move? Does it vibrate or do anything? It don't vibrate. See, this is this here. The purpose of this right here is you have, you know, I hear a lot of the women talk about, you know what I'm saying, they man be, you know, if they get man play with their cat, you know, the nails scratch because some men have long nails and some men don't want to cut their nails. So this right here man said it's soft. It already got the curve in it guaranteed to hit that G spot. With mm. It's already got the hook and it's already got the form. Right. And to anybody, I, I, listen, we all is. adults, we all adults here. There's lots of married people here. Everybody is grown, so don't y'all be acting like, you know what I'm saying, stick in the mud. So definitely shot with my girl. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Live your life and enjoy life. Enjoy yes. each other. That's what it's about. No, I'm serious. I want that claw thing as a hand. Oh my God. I lose my hand tomorrow. <laughs> Why would you lose your hand? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Walk around like this all day. Look, oh, like you gang, you forever gang banging. What what sign is that? Let me not throw it up because I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I have the roses on deck. Okay, you got the roses. She also has the honey on deck. All right. So drop your information pack. real quick, sis. Let them know. Damn, that's a solid. That's, that's, a, that's a giant pack of honey right there. Baby, you get this pack there. With you a good shot of your whiskey, you finna use. You better take your energy drink, baby. That, that honey pack look like a Laffy Taffy bar. What the <laughs> fuck? That's just thick. It is all thick. All day, oh. all night long. Right. All night long. Okay, so, so uh, Big Sexy is also uh sex guru or sex coach mm -hmm. if you will so she has you know lots of questions and you know scenarios and all that kind of stuff like that that you know she can kind of coach you on so uh get into it sis let's let's jump back into what we kind of missed out on earlier okay well um well you mentioned about me being coaching i i, I give classes you know what i'm saying different ways uh. Reached out to me for different classes or different, I'm say, techniques or pointers to give them in the art of fellatio. Okay. And uh, I, 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 you know, like I say, I ain't never saying nothing I do, and I talks about it openly for those that you know want to know, and then they ask me like when they come to buy toys, what's my favorite toy? And I always tell them my rose stem. I call it the rose stem. This right here. Okay. I call it the rose stem. You know, you don't, this part here just really just decoration, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a rose. Okay. You use this part. This part right here is the part that give you the satisfaction. You see how Okay, so you don't use the bottom part. part. It's just clean. You see how it looks? It's soft. Is you doing that or is that doing her that? doing it? I'm, I'm about to like that. Where is that? Soft. Because she and quiet. It like this. It vibrates. <laughs> And it heats up. Okay. And hey, that's what that's vaginal or, or oral? Huh? You said that's vaginal or oral? This vaginal. Vaginal. She started off saying oral. No, I said that I teach, I, I teach a class on the art of fellatio. Oh, okay, okay. No. Trying to catch it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Like so, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how many kids do you have? I actually don't have any kids. Really? 
So you are the master in fellatio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yes. yes, indeed. Okay. Seafood. Yes. <laughs> so here we go. I just... Go ahead, sis. And you know, like I said, it ain't nothing too. I have different things like for different places. You know, I got a double penetrator. Oh, I have a. Uh, it's pride, man. Is that called uh, a commando? Uh, uh, huh? Is that called a commando? A double penetrator? Well, no, I just call it a double penetrator. You know, it's, okay. got a little, it's long. You know, you're going to go in your butt and your cat at the same damn time. At the same <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's that's a lot. That's a I, lot. But, I, but hey, I, whatever, whatever you into, whatever floats your boat. Listen, this is your opportunity now. How okay. drop you your cash out. What is that? What's that? That's the double penetrator. It go in your okay. cat and your butt at the same okay, that, time. That look like uh what SWAT do when they come and raid your house. They come in your cat and <laughs> your butt at the same damn time. Like they, they go through both ways, entry. Kicking the well, door with gonna, even the phone call. Well, you can call it the SWAT attack because it's going to raid both doors. It's That's the, the SWAT attack. team right there. We're going to call that the SWAT attack. The yep. SWAT attack. Because yep. it's going to raid both doors. Oh, right. right. And the back. same damn time. Now, you know, <laughs> the zone, this here is my glass sculpture. Mm. Yes. Those that like hard. It looks like a, you know, um, what what do you call those things? Like your grandmother had one of it, like a, a what not. That's what you should call it, like a what not. Yes, like it's, it's, it's glass, it's right? Yes, it is. is. It is. is. Green's knick -knack shelf. I'm just saying it's glass. That better, that better not be on, look, you know how Granny had a little knick knack shelf? That better not be on Granny's knick knack <laughs> shelf just sitting up. Next to the unicorn, <laughs> next to the unicorn and the uh <laughs> the little shoe. This would be on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you see what Granny got on her shelf? Uh, we <laughs> tell him about it. Now I remember uh one of my friends, rest in pieces, uh his grandma and stuff. And uh, I remember she had a big ass painting. You know how like back in the day, like the seventies paintings, like they they was almost like canvas like paintings and shit. Mm -hmm. Like they had a, a like or whatever, whatever. But she had a big ass mural of her naked in her front. And it's like we were sitting down, you know, it's like like oh okay, so so let's 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 get into that. Okay, so was it a tasteful? No, it was her naked. Or it was out just like an afro. It was a seventies joint. Right. Like so it was like paint. it was art. It was like art. That's how they did. Yeah. You know, it was on like that velvet. Yeah, she was like on a chase and laying on. But yeah. it was art. It was her with her titties and, and the cat fur. Like, <laughs> it was like it's a <laughs> whole my picture. Like and somebody painted this, <laughs> so she obviously was laying nude. Yeah. You want? You want? But, you, oh, but but we're 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 sixteen and seventeen. It's that was seventy. Like you gotta take that down now. You she probably wasn't it. even thinking about it like that. Probably forgot about it. Let's just tease Maddie though. <laughs> what you say? What y'all say? What happens? Rest in peace, Miss Maddie. Y'all know them portraits and stuff where people used to take on the big wick, like wicker chairs and shit. Mm -hmm. and had the staffs and all that. I think everybody, every black family got one of those pictures. Because y'all got some. I remember them picture, pictures y'all had at y'all house back in the day. With them, uh, with them big, with them big wicker uh, straw chairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody got had those pictures. All right, what else you got? I feel like everybody had that old school furniture that had the little country theme on it, you know, with the with the chairs and the brown leaves. That I know exactly what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then remember the old comfort set that everybody had? It was like purple and turquoise. Yeah, it was like, no, go ahead, go ahead. Like, 
like the little squares or whatever. I can't really describe it, but if you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, somebody in my family has that. Remember the big wicker chair joints and motherfucker? It'd be like a dude sitting here, one, like an off or something. Mm -hmm. Didn't take or one knee like this. Or, day, or behind the morning back or something. <laughs> those the pose, those are gangsters. Them old couple <laughs> pictures. She be out of what she be sitting there like kitty jocking jokers. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Those were the days. Those right? were the days. No doubt. No doubt. But anyway, we going, we going yeah, left. Yeah, we yeah. going left. We we with big sexy tonight. I'm, I'm, right. big, big sexy. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun. You having fun? Yeah. Absolutely. You got the love. It's always it's always fun. I haven't um me and Felicia has been uh this is actually like my sister. So we've been friends, and for I, I don't know how, how did y'all meet since junior so, high. Since junior high school. So how we met uh, when we moved to Mississippi. Well, when my mom moved back to Mississippi, my mother and her mother were actually like real close friends. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when my mom was making her little rounds, going to say hi to everybody, she took us down to Miss Kate House. God rest her. So like that was, that's like a second mom to me. And um that like me and the whole family just like instantly quit. Like they became my other sister. And um the crazy thing is like I, I, I'm cool with everybody, but Nikki is the youngest and she's the one that I actually end up being like the closest to. But yeah, that's how we met. Never, ever, ever, ever switched up. Always got my back, like always. And that's always. how we, that's how we, we always rock. Always. No doubt, no doubt. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. I like that. You For gotta sure. be like that. You gotta, you gotta keep people from the mud up, tight knit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It's been times that I didn't even know that she was like in the vicinity when stuff was happening. And then I look up, and there go my girl. It, you know what I'm saying? Like it's hard to make friends, let alone family, is. and at the age of forty. You know they say you, you can me? go your whole lifetime and never make one true friend. And I know that I at least got one. That's a fact. Shit, I ain't got no biological brother, right. but you know, I got I got about five, six, seven, twelve, fifteen, and maybe thirty brothers. Yeah. For a shit show, and yeah. they gonna hold it up. For sure, for sure. Not down, cause you know, man, we still up. So shit. Right, we still up. We going up. So, uh, we ain't done yet. So, what? Uh, let me ask you this question, right? Okay. The ring, and I ain't talking about the doorbell. <laughs> what, what, does, what does that do for a man? You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that do? Like, I be seeing people, you know what I mean? I know none of my friends talk about it yet, but I know one of them niggas is secretly doing the ring. But he said is, secretly. Like, what does the ring folks do? Because I don't know. Okay. The ring, the one that I sell, it has a vibrator on it. And the man put it around their penis and you know the, the balls the ring scratches the meat out to its full potential that's like what strippers wear right and it's, that's what they be putting that, on them it's I was saying I'm sure don't have them that it, some of them use exactly. uh like a glove they'll take the end part of a glove and and put it on there or whatever, but then I guess they start. You're very yes. that how you know all about it. No, I heard that. Uh -huh. I, I was watching Housewives, okay. but um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what's the so next product? I mean, so what? Uh, you just just said they put the ring and then like it just you put. They just put it all out there, or what? So you gotta. Th this is this is. And tell me if I'm wrong. So this is what I'm thinking. Is it's your blood. So if the if it's at the top part, then it's kind of squeezing your blood out. So it's keeping it. You know what I mean? But don't you need free flow circulation? That's what I don't get. What? I, no, I mean, this thing. This is not right. that particular part of your body. You need all the blood. It, it's to stay there. 
This here is it looks like it's small. Remember uh love is real when... real wide. And what do you, you see mean like right stretch it wide? You mean like stretch it out or make it? Yeah, it, it scratches to fit, it's gonna fit any type of meat. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and that's the body of the body. It's not masculine. It's not it, for you to have one. But still, own. a man want to feel like a man. Like, you got like, like, a, like a, a camo color or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's that. You you got like black yeah. or army fatigue or something. Look, yeah. look, I'm telling you this right here. He ain't going to think about black. He ain't going to think about the lights out. That, listen, that was an old saying in my family. Close your eyes and it'll be dark. A navy colored blue or something like that. With like a hint of blue. All right, don't pay no attention. So don't, don't think about the color. The color is irrelevant. All right. The color ain't irrelevant. Yeah, you don't want to think about that color. You're going to think about the satisfaction they're going to give you. And they're going to give right. you good, good, good satisfaction. You but, don't even think about the color being but, pink. Uh, as a masculine alpha male, you don't want to come to the party with a, with a pretty pearly pink ring on. Right. First of all, uh, you're. Well, you start with the what the color is. That's what I'm saying. No, it's you're not going to be thinking about that. So, as a female later, because y'all know how y'all ladies like to chat. Girl, this nigga came to the bed the other night and he tried, he had the ring on. And guess what color it was? It was pink. God damn. No. no. I would have been like, girl, this man came to the bed last night and he had a ring on, baby, and he wove my ass out. <laughs> a woman ain't going to be stunned to color. She going to be focused on how many <laughs> orgasms you gave her. How, how good you made her feel with the ring on. Well, we ain't maybe, stunned no color. We you stunned know. how you made her feel. Now you I, come with the ring and you don't make it feel good, then we going to have some stuff to say. I, I, I mean, that might be Southern hospitality, but... Be, no, it's not it, Southern hospitality. Be, be because, state. first of all, I am... Uh, any woman, you ain't even looking at the ring. You're not state. even gonna be looking at the ring. Look, look, New York State, a motherfucker, you, a, a, a woman be like, how you gonna fuck me in some case whiskers, nigga? You ain't got the Jordan ones. <laughs> you know you <laughs> can't, you not fucking me and not no Tims. You better put them Timberlands on. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's not New York thing. I made it put on the nice and still get the job done. It don't make it no You listen, you can have on some flip flops. Nigga try to fuck me and hey, no, I man. told you, you better take your Crocs <laughs> off your feet. Yo, that's a, that's the thing now. Do the guys wear Crocs down there? Huh? Do the guys wear Crocs down there? Yeah. I've, I've never seen so many. That's lazy footwear. And then they be styling it too. I seen Listen, one dude. I don't give a fuck. No, that's lazy He footwear. had on the purple Crocs. Yep, yeah, with a sweatsuit. And he had on a sweatsuit and then yeah, he had on. It. He had on like the purple drawers, and how I knew his drawers was purple is because his pants was down to the back of his bottom booty cheek. Listen, that's lazy wear. Okay, that's around the house lounge. Men, real men, real, 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 you know, geez, if you were brought to shit, you know, you're not allowed to leave the house with slides. Like, you can wear them, like, to the front porch and shit like that, but you never know what you might encounter out in the world. So you need some shoes, you need some... It's like going to jail type shit, you know what I mean? Whatever. But at the same time, you know, Crocs is cool. They're very comfortable. I've had to have a pair, but that's lazy. I work, work like, Crocs sometimes to work. You know, in the in the line of work that I do, I wear Crocs to work sometimes. I was about to say, my friend, I got a friend. This man matches every pair of outfits with Crocs. He don't wear shoes no more. <laughs> that is lazy to wear. Stop it. Okay, so, so let's stay on topic. So, um, do you have like any success stories? Like, have anybody ever called you and been like, "Girl, that thing that you gave me, I used it." And my hand is up. Oh, right. Let me tell you. Hold hand. on, time out. He got his hand up. He okay. in class right now. Okay. Do you sell the vibrating panty thing with the buzzer? I asked him. Yeah. I asked him. Yes, I, I do. Do you have um, instant shipping? 
I don't know. I don't have instant shipping, but instant shipping costs for instant, you know, extra pay. That's all right. But I can get a Father's Day is coming up. Get the pennies with the remote control when you want. Father's Day is coming up. And I, I don't know how I feel about those. I don't know how I feel about somebody having I mean, control, I that type of control. You know, because people like to play. Like, I've seen, like, videos and stuff where, like, you know, most of the time when I've seen them, it's been, like, wedding parties. And, like, the girls will have them, and they'll be, like, out. And then all of a sudden, one of them, like, oh, oh, no. And then I yeah, seen one, I, it was, like, a girl, a girl and her boyfriend. And he was being just a jerk with it. Like, she was, like, about to slide down the escalator. I'm, like, I can't. I'm going home. I can't my face. <laughs> right. And see, I actually seen on uh, a show like that there. Where, I seen uh, it on the Housewives. Yes. Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and the one girl was like, oh, so, I don't like that. So for, uh, <laughs> um, for you know, for a friend of mine. I'm sorry, no, do no, I sound too loud? No, you probably sound loud. Do I phone. sound loud to you, yeah, Nikki? Headphones, you probably loud. Okay. 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 No, you good, though, but, um, you know, in the price range-wise, you know, for an acquiring uh, handsome young uh, fellow, you know, that's Father's Day is coming up. What what does that gift that keeps on giving cost? Thirty five plus shipping and handling it'll be forty. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So um, long pleasures. So okay, so if we wanna go online and order some things, what's the link? What's what's the um the website? Well I I'm on I'm currently right now on Facebook as Unlady Light Pleasures LLC. That's my business page. And and also you can also hit me up on my regular Facebook page. In the page you have I have uh Felicia Unlady Light Murphy, my Facebook page. You can inbox me on there as well. Um I'm very discreet because I know a lot of people be like, you know, oh, I don't want this person or that person to know that I'm into this or that I'm doing this right here or that I like this. Right. It's very confidential. Whatever right. you buy from me, don't nobody know unless you tell them yourself. Right. Discreet packaging and all that I, kind I, of I stuff like that. that. I want people to trust me with right. ordering from me. Right. And guys, you know, don't be uncomfortable. Don't be shy. You know, it's a part of life. We've all done it or have done it or going to do it at one point. You know, most of the people, you know, I know a lot of people that, like I said, been married for a very long time, yeah, been in, uh, you know, relationships for a very long time, you know, and just want to try something new or spice it up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, get into uh -huh. it. Get into it. You got a question. He in class. So, okay. Why do, why do a lot of straight women watch lesbian porn? to masturbate to. I never heard that in my life, but please answer that question. Well, I would say this. Maybe they watch the uh, lesbian porn because it, it turns them on. You know what I'm saying? Gives them some type of it makes them want to nut faster. It might be their secret fantasy. You see what I'm saying? Uh, some women like to see other women interact with each other. Right. They might right. not interact with the other sex, with the same sex, but they enjoy watching them interact. Right. And it actually turns them on just as well as it's a man see two women kissing or, or, or you know what I'm saying, feeling on each other sexually. It turns them right. on. So women right. are not about it. it. It's literally, it's literally, and just speaking as a woman myself, and I am a heterosexual woman, but, um, you know, I do find, you know, the same sex attractive, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not a hater. So if I see a female or something that look good or you know, she got a nice body or something like that, I'll definitely look or I'll be like, okay. Men, that's not gay. the point. That's not the point well, that I'm, I'm making. Saying, yes, I'm 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 just speaking in general where you can appreciate the same sex without it being that you necessarily attracted. It's just that you appreciate like even some guys. I mean, what's wrong with a guy saying you know, like when we was out the no. one time, we was out the one time and the dude walked up and he was complimenting Wave on his outfit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? 
that's a form of admiring. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. Anyway, that's <laughs> but that's just a form of admiring. The other day, yeah. I went I went to the store. Um, we hung out or whatever, and the young lady in the store, she was like, "Oh, you look cute." You know this, and this, and that. I didn't take it as oh, you know, she being fresh, as we call it. I just took it as okay. Shit, the outfit you just bought in Detroit, you got a uh, compliment on the little little outfit that didn't make it back. Bring out all the fuzzy shit. Remember the oh yeah, you, know, you got a compliment for it got crazy. Yeah, I wore it like once, twice, maybe. twice, maybe once or twice. Yeah, but you know. Mm. And and we were talking about that the other night too. Um, you know, cause you know, for the most part, us females we get a a, a bad rep of you know not liking each other and all that yeah. kind of stuff like that. But in my experience, you know, what I'm saying I get lots of compliments and stuff from females. You know, they say like my hair, <laughs> and I do it too. You know what I'm saying? Now it you know it won't go past that, but I'll say, oh, I like you know I like your shoes or. You know, or them, them pants is cute, or that dress is cute. You know, whatever, whatever. I keep it moving. You know. Yeah. So, uh, like my point was, I feel like we are attracted, not in the same way, but like to the same things. It's like, oh, you be like, oh, she fine. You know what I'm saying? This and this yeah. and that. Same way. Like, it, dang, okay. It, it, like, it, I, it. I, I see a, a woman, and they call themselves studs. You know, a fine ass stud. I'm like, damn. I almost got that fight stuff. I almost got that. I almost she got that. She was real. She you know, was real just, tall. You know, she I had like good. long I'm like, I'm like, Yeah. She look good. Once I made it up, I'm like, oh, whoa. Is sex in the 2023 on the first day relevant or necessary? And or necessary. Relevant or necessary? I don't. I think it's relevant. Because, because I, it's definitely re relevant, but not a necessity. Because, but it's definitely relevant. Because I'm just saying, because you know the the way everything is moving excuse me, so fast nowadays. And I mean, like, is it a necessity or is it relevant? I mean, if you know, because like y'all women, y'all know before men. Do. Okay, men, we know. Like, we'll meet y'all. Like, okay, she fine. This in the third. I might have a chance. Women off the bat within three seconds know I might give them some pussy or not. I might okay, yeah. or not. True. I might just that's only true. But that's the same. Okay. So when you when you meet a woman, you see an attractive woman or whatever, that's the first is that not the first thing that come to your mind? The first thing that come to your mind is not a sexual thought. Like be be honest it's, about it's, it. It's an attraction. It, it's, it's a everything, sexual everything, the first thing no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an attraction that leads to a sexual thought. Because first of all, you have to be attracted to the person to lead the sex. Yes. In my eyes, I mean like so like okay, boom. You could be pretty as you are, beautiful as you are and then go to the store in your pajamas. Now, I don't know how you look when you look like you look. I just know how you look when you left to do it. Yeah. And, and that, and that, uh, uh, that's the most that's, time in my experience, not to test the wrong, no, no. in my experience, that's the most time for me personally when guys will say something to me. It's always when I'm looking crazy and I'm trying to be in and out the store, I'm dodging, I'm in the back, I'm in the corner, and then it's always that one person is just like, hey, ma, how you doing? Yeah. Like, you yeah. how did you find me back? Yeah. Like, go away. That's, <laughs> that's the real, and that's the allure of the real, you know what I'm saying? When you're made up and dialed up and looking at your, at, at your highest potentials or, or even, you know, beyond, it, 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 see, it it supersedes a man like, oh, I might not be able to talk to her now because she is the Empire State, you know, Statue of Liberty. You know what I mean? Right. She is. Because, <laughs> because I say this all the time, and I mentioned this sorry. before. I love seeing something that uh, attracts me to guys. One thing that attracts me to guys, or one attractive thing about men, is like, like I said, if I see a guy out, like he just got off of work, you know, he got his uniform on or he got his work clothes on, he, you know, kind of dirty or whatever. Like to me, that's attractive. You know what I'm saying? If he's attractive. But, you know, I love seeing a, a man in, in the uniform, you know, 
It's something about like, that. Like, you know, like, like you've, been, you've been working. You've been working it's hard all day. day. You've been, it be been smell working smell hard. For me, though. Hmm? It be the smell for me. The smell Oh, I love, 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 like that. Yeah, I mean, a man, a man can look like a crib keeper. But what? if he smell good, he smelling good and looking good with his clothes and his appearance and hygiene. You want a woman of me, baby. And that's and that's another thing, like with guys and girls, like a dude. You don't necessarily have to be like the most attractive like physically it's more so your personality you know what i'm saying how you carry yourself like yeah and i know you know a few guys that's you know cool you probably wouldn't say they're the best looking person in the world but if you still have a conversation with him or whatever you'd be like yeah he cool and, and uh to add to my drip check or fit check you know what i mean smell good by it's miyagi you know what i mean you know they can't you know, smell you yeah, smell a vision it's smell a vision and that's for the players out there you know what i mean you want to tap in get you some it's uh, miyagi uh, yeah uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm going to have to get my own mind something. Yes. Speaking, yes. speaking of which, to jump off topic, congratulations to my girl. Just got Thank engaged, you. getting Whoa. married, getting married, getting married. We getting married. Let's go. I was married. Hold on. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Get this live new shoot. <laughs> it's going down. It's going down. You know, I'm definitely going to be there. Like, I, I'm i going to make it my business to be there. I know Come it's going to be a ball. I already know. I haven't been back home in so, so long. So, it's so, so long. You know, my Let's get married. No, I got an extra bedroom. Bryson, is, he won't mind you getting his room. Come on. <laughs> Listen, I already know, sis. Yes. I already know. Listen, her mom, Miss Kate, was the type of lady, not to cut you off, sis, but Miss Kate was the type of woman, like, if you go over her house and she cooking and she'll offer you a plate, and you be like, no, that's okay. You know, I'm not hungry. Don't worry about it. When she get done cooking, she gonna call you in the kitchen and she gonna have a plate for you. Like, she would be, like, offended. Like, I would be sweetest lady in the world. As a person myself, if I ever went down south and neglected a plate, you got damn wrong. You, 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 oh, you gonna get sat down there yeah. then, shoot. Man, I love nigga. Mm, Listen, me. back in the day, that's all, like, that was Listen, the spot. I was I barbecuing. Sweet potatoes with the marshmallows until I went down south. Really? That's how my sister make her. That shit is goddamn ridiculous. That shit make the teeth fall out. You got you gotta take the teeth out to eat it. The teeth gonna fall out. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Well, that's what's up, y'all. That's what's up. I mean, we this, still in it. Yeah, this is this is good. Listen, I'm enjoying the conversation, and it's it's just like it's talking to an old friend, but at the same time, it's still the interview. So I don't want us to go too far off. You know what I'm saying? What we trying to do here or whatever. So, sis, get back into it. What else you got for us? I got it. Okay. It's right here. A penis sleeve. A who? What? A penis sleeve. Okay. Explain. This year. You see this opening? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. This is come, come back. Okay. Okay. This goes around. What's the up, Nika? What's up, Kiki? This right here. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing goes over. Yeah, it's the whole thing. The, mm. the penis go inside. It stretches. It stretches, you can see. Wow. Hmm. It comes with not one, but two batteries. Meaning, this right here. Okay. It's a vibrate plug. It's this one is already plug. inside already. It's a button mm. slide. And it makes this vibrate. 
while your huh? penis is inside. Huh? That's how painful to me. You make. It sound it sound painful. I don't I don't I don't know about that one. This that is, is so scary. I mean, I would love to just like it see it in, in person, but I see it. It, it looks look scary. Like it. No, I want to see that like in real life. Like this is how it look on the box. Listen, guys, y'all holla at my girl because she got some stuff. I'm pretty sure that what you've never seen for. What is the loop for? What's up, Mike? Huh? Yeah. What's the loop mm -hmm. for? The ring thing. That's for the thing thing? Yeah, the box. Right there. This is going yeah. down the nuts. The so you don't put a so somebody is go. I know, listen, and you I don't even it. care. So listen, y'all watch this, whoever out there viewing, share this live, share this live, because it's probably definitely gonna get share. reported. But definitely like, share, all of that. Because yeah. I know they probably gonna report it. But they report it first. Yeah, we'll stick on it. She had music on, on the live stream. That's she why she had music on all, every time. That's her like her theme song. But oh, okay. This is this is my sticker, my my thing, a lady like pleasure, you know. Now what is that? Oh, okay. What is that? This is this is this. Oh, this that's, that's this is Oh, and that's her on lady like. Okay, fine. I wanna um, I definitely want a poster, Nikki. That's. Do that's, you have any of those? I could get it made. Yeah, I definitely. It don't have to be real big, but I definitely want. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all get into it. Get into it. Holla at your girl. Holla at your girl. Yo, so that's like a space suit for like. This is some lingerie outfits that I have. That is the space suit of it. Right. Okay, that's cute. Y'all get, get into it. This is the it, one that I have on right here. This is the one. Okay. Okay. That's, the one I'm right there. That's what's up. And how much is that one? What what um and what size does it go up to? My lingerie goes up to a size five X. Okay. That's what's up. Everybody, everybody needs love. And what's the smallest it go down to? A nickel? Huh? What's the smallest it go down to? A nickel? Now the smallest. I can get it as small as you want. If you want to order, anybody want to order lunch race set, they see something on my site that they want, I just order the size that you want. Y'all like and share, like and so, share the video, like and share the video. Is. What you want, I can get it. If I ain't so, got it, I can get it. So, listen, I ain't trying to be, you know, crazy or nothing, but my dog, he's been like, in the, in the searching and the looks for another little, you know, hot little thing. Then, do they make animal lingerie? Like, 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 you say animal lingerie kind like this here? Yeah, like little lingerie for dogs, the types of dogs. They, I'm animals. pretty sure they got they got um stuff like that for dogs. Stop being weird. No, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She might have the answer, but... Oh my god, this is hilarious! I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't, I ain't never had, had an order for a dog for lunch. Right? Jesus Christ! I mean, dogs look at other dogs too. They don't just hump on anything. They gotta be enticed too, like shit. No, they don't. Yes, no, they do. You the have to make them. They have to be in here. When they ready, ready you'll know. Ready. These are my other cards. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. So I was asking earlier about a uh, success story. I don't know if you got a chance to finish it, but that's what I wanted yeah, to hear. Yeah, I wanted to hear that good, review. Um, a good success story to me is when I was staying in Pasagoula, Mississippi, which is on the coast. Uh, mm -hmm. I when I first started selling when I was on the coast. And when I tell you, I appreciate the love down there. I do. I do because one day at work I just had had, like, had a whole, whole lot of different toys, a lot of new stuff. Some people ain't never heard nothing, and I know I got over two money, over two hundred dollars. Okay, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, Pascagoula. Y'all holla at my girl. Y'all holla at my girl. I yes, was best come on, coast. I always clean down whole ninety highway ninety. I'm just say the whole highway ninety. Holla at your girl. 
that covers so, the screen, but let's sit past a Gula Gup port. I'll uh, only clean up the we, Texas. We just haven't been California. not one time. We go to huh? shot a clock. Val. Shot a clock. Shot a clock. Shot a clock. Shot a clock. Salute. Top to the bottom, bottom to the top. Ah. Yeah, I want, I want to spin the block down there. I'm a city boy, but I want to come to the country. I told him he's not ready for this country shit. I'm telling you, we just we some good, wholesome people like to have fun. I could shoot in the world. I be making over here my own little world. Listen, Basically. all is all. Listen, with some of the most fun. She don't life. know I'm a city boy, but I'm Crocodile Dundee. You crocodile done. He cause he could fish. I could do more than fish. I tamed the alligator snapping turtle. Two of them. I slept outside in the tent in the backyard of my house. I lived rock. Oh shoot! I just got. Doing <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? Fuck that shit. Oh. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Listen, we out here. We going up. Be yourself. Live life. Do what you do. That's what it's about. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We're not judging nobody here. This is a judgment-free zone. Yeah. What up, bro? <laughs> Why you what? not singing in on the on the um? Come on. on I I need, a, I need a brother in here, man. Come on, man. Jump in here. Yeah, he brother in here, man. Come on, man, Tony. We need, we need another male point of view. We need a male perspective. You remember Coco? Evelyn? Evelyn, look at my husband here. Hey, What's, What's up, up Tony? Peace. Why you not sitting in? He, he just got out of work. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna bother him, through the door. That, that's the only reason why he made it, because and he just getting off work. Aside yeah. from that, hot seat. Yeah. Hot seat. See, he was gonna put one of these restraints on me to show you how they restraints. I would like to see that. How that works. To see the restraint, yes. It's, so uh, explain explain to the audience, to the people, how the restraints work. This particular restraint right here, it goes around on your, right above your knee. Mm -hmm. Your wrist. It had your wrist to this knee and to the other knee, with your legs extended up in the air. You understand? So you got your legs and everything, you know, like, sides like this here up this in the way. Air. Yes, ass legs up in the air. Ass legs. <laughs> and oh, this okay. other restraint I have. It ties your wrist to your ankles. That's the driver ankle. Is that the one that got the sticks, the, right. the poles, or whatever that you can't? Huh? Uh -uh, you just, you just, I you see it was a It was on a party city picture. Yes, it, 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 this one here ties your wrist to your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all 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 that's Mm. Yes. When you get tired yeah, of it, 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 it's Velcro. You know, it is Velcro, yeah. but it's going to hold you. It's thick, and it's going to hold you. Okay. It's going it to tie your ass. It's going to get the job done. It's going to get the job done. And then uh, my girl also, we also had what, maybe like two other little short videos where she showed some other products, the, the ball <laughs> gag. Yes. So y'all definitely check it out. Check it out. That's what's up. 
pouches, oh. butt plugs. Butt plugs, all different sizes, strap ones. Like we got the honey. Why I you know butt kit. the butt plug thing? You know what? You know why are women necessarily wearing butt plugs, but not what? In, in game, engaging in anal action? No, no a lot see, of, I don't know. I don't know. See a lot of women wearing them for like fashion now. Like who they, wearing? Who, who, who where do you say that? Oh, now, they be having I have seen, go butt plugs. I know what he's saying. I see the one that made like um stuff it's inside kind of the like this right here, and they got a tail at the right. end. Right. They have a tail at the end right. now. I'm gonna tell you this right here. Okay, I'm I'm listening. People have their different fetishes and they different weird shit that they be into. That's what I'm about saying. it. You know what I'm saying? To each uh -huh. of Now, why they wanna why they wanna walk around all day with something stuck in their ass? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't something that I, I be wanna do. You know right. what I'm saying? You gonna play with my ass, you gonna play with my ass while we in it while we interacting, you know what I'm saying, while we get down. You gonna put the butt plug in my ass then, but I ain't gonna parade around town and to the grocery stores and to the mall. Exactly because the one I watched another podcast. They just, they just, just, and, 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 and one pick Barbie said she went to Target with the butt plug in. Nah, I just can't get they, they, they just they weird shit. They I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't some shit, um, some shit no. people do. I just I can't understand. That, it just. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm a very. I think I'm. I'm just so self-aware, and I'm just always this type of person. You know how you know your mom said, make sure you know when you leave the house, you have on clean underwear in case you're in yeah. a car accident. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm that type of person. I'm always going to assume like some with my luck, some crazy shit gonna happen. I'm fail, and my pants got caught. Now my pants then got ripped off, and my drawers ripped, and now you can see the plug. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know I mean, what I'm saying? I mean, like, okay, so I'm asking another question from a male point of view because we don't know. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the same in a sense like a cotex where y'all got the? Absolutely not. It's Absolutely not. not. Heck no. It's still shoved up in you. No, it's a different. It's, it's no. What the fuck? Because first of all, the the cotex is in there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it's a reasonable blood plug. No, yeah. it's not. A, it's not. A, it's not. You don't need that in there, and you don't need the cotex in there though. But um, I don't know. I, like it's something that I've it's, never it's, done, it's, so it's, I don't want to sound. Really I don't want to sound yeah. ignorant. But you know, as a woman who <laughs> uses who thing. uses Cotex, you know you you know you don't really feel it after a while unless you unless you're using it wrong. But something stuck in your booty hole all day, you're feeling that. Yeah. You know, and yes, it's, they it's also like, say that you know that's a, the, another way. It got bowels stuck there that you just walk around, just squeezing your ass. Seriously, because that's the you better not have a blood plug in on your menstrual cycle. I would you never have a dirty bitch. You, you I would never have nobody would ever. Would ever no, I'm just saying, no, I'm just speaking in general. I, 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 I would, yeah, to each his own. To each his own. How you feel about it, uh, big sexy? Feel about, about what now? The butt plug thing. How you feel about that? Now, uh, the butt plug thing, you know, I feel I like the vibrating butt plug the best. <laughs> if I'm going to use the butt plug, I want the vibrating one. Cause it's I'm, easy to I'm sorry. I just got to interject for one oh second. I'm sorry. Because I'm a kid. I, so quick, I'm with quick, the butt plug. Quick, quick, 
story time. I'm a kid from like the eighties. So I didn't know the purple bag with the long stick and all the, the holes in it was a dish bag. So I used to be playing with it in the tub with the kid blowing it up. <laughs> all types of shit like that. But, but, but like think about it now as as an adult in the 2023. Imagine if your baby come out the fucking the the the, the back room or something, and they got the butt plug in their mouth like a ring pop. Because they can it could pop together like a, like a pacifier. They just, they just oh, doing this shit with the butt plug like a pacifier. Like I'm just thinking. It can happen. Oh my. oh my goodness. They don't know. They fire. Listen, you will yeah, not get this type of content anywhere else aside from the damn people. This right here, this is like this is next level. Mm -mm -mm. This is this is that's next level. This is <laughs> out of control. He got right in his mouth like a ring pop. He just came out like a pacifier, oh, like yeah. mama. First of all, why would it even be? Because he found it. He was in your drawers while you was cooking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, all the what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is not how this was supposed to go, but <laughs> just it just was you know just again i should have did the test run again i'm gonna apologize to you again because yeah, we should have did the I'm test run it. sooner this night has been real it you has know? been real it has definitely yeah. been real I like here talking on this damn live you missed you the first part you, I, couldn't, nice I couldn't get on i listened i they was going crazy they was going crazy they was talking a lot of it's on her page though oh my god y'all was wild Maybe yeah. and then, then somebody reported it because we was having too much fun and they yeah. Yeah, they, they, showed, they, snitching they probably took the video down yeah, i still can't crazy. get over it, little ray ray coming in the room with the butt plug in his mouth Come <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no, no. we're not doing that okay anything else are there any other products that you have that you want to show because we gonna we gonna forget about little ray 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 gonna take his little butt to bed because he's doing too much he's still up in the dirty ones he's gonna get a whooping and he's too tall for the onesie so they cut the feet off I don't know if I, uh, showed you okay <laughs> <So bad. laughs> wow what is that those so is the butt plug those are our nuclear bombs. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of... Wait a minute. She ain't got the face on the big yeah. one. I'm done. You got the face on the big one. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh Who is in the middle? I'm glad I had hold a on, couple drinks. Look at the face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta name them. You gotta name them. Hold on. You gotta name them by size. What's the other what's the other name uh, them, name them by size? Come on. Come on. You gotta name them. That's <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. No, you gotta come on, come on. We gotta name them real quick by size. What's their name? By, by size. Whatever name come to pop come to your mind. This little one. <laughs> this is the uh I think I'm ready one. <laughs> and this is Big Girl. Oh okay. so what you name them now, Ellie Ellie, what, what you name? Them? Whatever names come to my first That's that's the stallion. Stallion? The big one. The big one. <laughs> that that's that's Petey Pablo right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh that's motion motion with the ocean right there that's pete pablo that is fucking <laughs> then look at how she pointing that he like. he's gonna wave it around like a helicopter in the middle oh, damn she said pete pablo 
y'all y'all is out of control yeah it's funny oh this, this is, is so funny this is so funny this is hilarious i like i said i wish i was i was saying earlier that it would have been so much doper if like you could have like we could actually be in person it would have been a whole lot but that's a free chick because a free chick can put one in each hole talking about one of the wink, one of the stink, and one where she speaks. No, all three of them. Yes, you can. What is that a double uh thing as well? It's pretty, it's that purple. It's Gandalf's wand. <laughs> that is where the magic happens. Oh my Man. goodness, look how the it's levels go. Where, where is it supposed to begin and where is it supposed to end? There what is the no beginning or no end. It's this is for the anus, this is for the butt. This is for the coach. So what if somebody puts that in there and it just disappears? So I seen a video where a girl had one of those balloons? stuck. No, it oh. was a um like a a, a dildo, and it was stuck. Oh, and she was, they was like trying to get it out. It was crazy. I seen a video of a female. You know how they blow up the long um. Confetti balloons and shit, they make, you know, animals or whatever mm -hmm. out of it. And she was going down her throat and it fucking, she swallowed it. Oh it my swallowed. God. Like they usually put it all the way in their mouth and then like hold it for us. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like she started gasping for air. Yeah, because like, it's a balloon in your throat. Like, mm -hmm. well, no, imagine if it's catching air while it's in there and you're breathing. That, that makes me think like, off topic real quick but think about people that do like stupid shit the wildest thing people do like what makes you think that you can lay on the bed of nails and then somebody can drop like center blocks in your chest <laughs> and then you just okay like well what morning did you wake up like, i think i can do this shit and you start doing this shit then you start having the glass and up and then. like the one we was watching when dude was letting him kick him in the yeah yeah that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. What else you got for us? And this is um, never ending. This is never ending. How long have because we normally only record an hour, so I'm not trying to keep no, you too almost, long. Almost, yeah, I mean, you, you try. Oh, that's my hand. That's what oh, I want to have. Yeah, I yeah, that's what I want to have if I ever oh, cut my hand off. No, don't. Why would you? Keep, why do you keep talking about cutting off? Because it's the Gandalf, the hand off. Hand off the hand off. Something wrong with this. <laughs> okay, so what is that? Explain. Okay, this so is. we're going to give you the floor unless you give a description of what it is, what it does. This sorry. is the multiple speak, multiple speak. Hmm? It's That's supposedly what? rolls up to 30 speeds. I had to reach 30. Uh, with the one that I had, I got up to 15. Shit. I, 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 I say it goes up to 30 speeds. So that means 30 experiences. Experiences. Oh. 30 I just want to know how. 30 enhanced. I just want to see, like, how can you have 30 different speeds? 30. How many different ways can you have 30 different speeds? How many different ways could something possibly vibrate? I don't even know the bicycles that get up to 30 speeds. That's what I'm saying. Shopping later, like Shit. Listen, guys, that's why I had to put the shades on because that, that's the fucking Hellcat. Kill somebody. You can kill somebody. Kill somebody. That shit damn near a taser. That's you trying to you trying to take somebody out. Can you imagine? How that Fanta vibrate at thirty speeds? Thirty speeds. I don't even don't. You can think about You're it. You're gonna kill with the glasses. And you know, like I got you asked me earlier, this is it, like I said, then I just had my just favorite of all. But basically just a rundown of you know what I have right 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 now. And to come, I have uh a toy called I call it the another toy called the finger. <laughs> like a glove that goes on your hand that vibrates. Uh -huh. Make mm. it just vibrates and it's shaped like a pepper, so it go over these two fingers, and it and it comes mm -hmm. up with your hand like a glove, and it vibrates. So let me ask you this question, right? Uh -huh. 
can too many sex toys for a woman be too much for male female intercourse like can a woman use too many sex toys to the point where she's not enjoying regular male female intercourse I think so. Because I feel like this right here, if she's using a lot of sex toys and the man know about it, I feel like there's just an understanding that they probably just had with each other. What he's saying is what he's saying is because you know what I'm saying, that and not to cut you off, way, but like the vibrator, it, it gives a different feeling, a different sensation than what a human can do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you get so used to that, right. it's to the point where, you know, a real person can't please you because you got 30 speed. Right. So so say it's so say it's a scenario, right? <clears throat> it's a female, she's been out of a relationship for a year, or whatever, you know, whatever. But now she wanna date. She ain't really she been celibate up until a certain point. Now all of a sudden she get horny. And she using the rose and a vibrator at the same, a rose and a dildo at the same time. Now she going crazy on herself. If you've been doing this for two months, now she needed to. She finally let, let him get involved, and you know they finally have intercourse. But she's so used to going crazy electric with the rose and a vibrator. She's going crazy. She's hooking up to Wi-Fi. <laughs> I mean, she got spectrum in that thing. I mean, oh, I'm just saying, wow. like, but now, like, and, and don't get me wrong, like, to, 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 to really give a, a good standpoint, the man is not no slouch. He's giving all great energy, great vibes, everything, but she's so used to, you know, teleporting to Mars. Like, like mm -hmm. is, it a draw, is it a comeback or is it a drawback? I, I mean, for me, I feel like if you just speaking in general, I, I I feel like you want human a human touch at some point. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily what the thing is doing to you. It's just the intimacy. So I feel like after a while, you gonna want, you know what I'm saying, to feel somebody touching you or you know something like that. But if you just you know straight. To the point, then yeah, it, it'll be hard for somebody I, to, to get through I, because you're used to that. I feel like um, with that, if the if the woman give it a man and he can't please her, then she either if that's a man that she want to be with, she she teaches him how to please her. You know, sometimes a woman got to tell a man what she like. But if not, then she get her somebody, you know, get one they're going to, might not feel like the toys, but can provide her them orgasms or that good feeling that she seek. Mm. I'm saying, this man you know, been holding this down, but she been putting a snowblower on her shit. Shut up. A lawnmower <laughs> on her shit. Snowblower. Like, Three months now, and she finally gets some real shit. She like, oh shit, he doing this thing is going down. But it, the minute he leaves, she gotta go get the, you know what I mean, the trap out because she's so used to the trap. Like, I think, I think that, that I think it away. should be. I think that it should be a conversation, and you should tell. tell she should tell her partner. Listen, yeah, no, I've been be single for right. I've been I've been single for a long time. This is you know how I've been you know satisfying myself for whatever. So until I'm you know I'm in a relationship now. So until I'm back to the point where you know I'm used to this, then you know you gotta work with me. But as a that's man, what it's about. No, no, no. no as no, a man, no. if you try to deal with her, then you gotta be. I'm gonna flip side it and I'm gonna flip side the coin from a man's point of view also. It's the same way it goes. You know, too much male masturbation, you know what I'm saying, will lessen up the penetration also. You know what I'm saying? Like men have brush burn from masturbating too much. I wouldn't know. Going crazy. But I... women have rubber burns. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The rubber burns and get from <laughs> the plastic. I'm just saying. But so, yeah, I, it, it's a two way street. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, I got a, so I got a crazy story. 
story time. I know it's normally story time with Wade, but story time with Ellie. So um, I purchased a, a product. It was it was a rose, and I don't know. I didn't realize, and I'm not gonna get too explicit or nothing like that with it. I didn't realize like how strong how strong it was. So I used it, and like it it. It literally like burnt my skin. Mm. Mm-hmm. It literally like this shit was high power. This shit was crazy. That was the first time that I brought one, so I don't know if it was like defective or anything like that. But I like had bruises. Damn, you had it on ninety nine mode. No, as soon as you turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story. This is a true story. So I like I felt the warm sensation. You know they what I'm saying? No, this is this is why I know something was wrong with it. Listen to what I'm saying. Oh, I no, felt no. the wrong sensation, so I was kind of like moving it around to see like which speed was good to me or whatever. But all while I'm moving it around on me, I could feel like I said this warm. No, you were saying you but um. Uh, yeah, I'm moving around. I can feel like the warmth is not necessarily on any, you know, on the place to, you know, to get me there. I'm just testing the speed and it feel warm. So, I'm yeah. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this is what it do. So, finally, when I put it like on my spot and I like click the speed, like I probably should have tested all of the speeds, but the speed that I put it on was like super kill you, like. It was crazy. Mm. So I was like sore and all that kind of stuff like that. And I had like a little, like it had kind of like burnt, like burnt my skin. Yeah. That's crazy. And I don't know if I left it on a charger because they tell you to keep it on the charge for like a few hours or whatever. So yeah, charge up. you know, any new electric thing, they'll be like charge it overnight. Girl. It's not a walkman. Where do you order this thing from? <laughs> True story. True story. And I bruise easily. I bruise for me to be a, a dark skinned person, I bruise super easily. That was crazy. Oh wow. Women and young toys. I'm so glad that men don't, you know. Don't start because I know the type of toys the men got. That that's that would be cool too since the uh oh, like, male I'm toys put that on my jacket oh, wait, no, I'm, just saying. I'm saying when you no, I'm just saying you saying oh, women and you you saying women in our toys like y'all men y'all got toys. whole booties yeah. tooted up be, with the, yeah. the coochie meat I right said, there. I said pocket pocket pussy they got the guac guac what they call it guac guac now nah, hold on three thousand might be a good father's day gift because it's uh, because uh, yeah, yeah, the night when you mad, I might have the guy guy can be on the couch. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> I put that bitch on spin cycle <laughs> on the bed. Put that shit on. Why, but see, like you said, you but look, like you said, too much of that is bad, right? Yeah. So you yeah. might like it too much, and like, then get away from me. <laughs> I'm, I'm empty. Get away from me. All I need is one block. We got one of them. Oh, I'm dying. One block, Rich. Go pay attention to him. He's something wrong with him. This is the same. Got one block. 3,000. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So we gonna get ready to get off of here in the, in a minute or whatever. Man, listen, it's been so good talking to you, seeing your face. Yes. Like, we just, hey, Miss Dom, hey, Mom, Miss Darlene, that's my work mom. She ain't, Hello. She ain't gonna, she gonna be like, um, what's that song? I know you ain't singing that song. She gonna be like, I know you ain't talk about that on there, Miss Darlene. Yes. Everybody grow. Darlene, Darlene. 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 Listen, that's my mom. Like everybody know Miss Darlene. Don't don't play about don't play about that. I remember my grandma, rest in peace. I remember when uh Teddy Raleigh came up with the rum shaker video. 
And we up the front one watching it on the box. And she coming there. She said, see, I knew y'all was over here doing so. Y'all watching these girls over here just flipping and flopping and flipping and flopping. What? So you taking and gyrating on this land. My mom used to say, shaking all around, moving all around, and gyrating. Gyrating. <laughs> gyrating. Look, I can see your mom. Yeah, oh, my grandma. Living in the flopping and the flipping. And her name was Evelyn. She was a cool lady. She was a beautiful woman. She was. I really, yes, really, yeah. really, I'm truly thankful for you all bringing a lady like pleasures to New York City. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I've been having a good time. It's Hopefully, fun, I get man. to meet you in person and we, have, we get to turn up some more. Uh -huh. I get to whoop y'all ass with some big wins or something like that. Or, you know what I mean? These are the spade players and stuff right here. Y'all know who all my friends know that I don't know how to play spade. Mm -hmm. I probably play deuce. I think I remember how to play that. But if you want to get your ass whooped and uno, well, you don't well, want to well, smoke. Oh, hit the ball. You don't want to smoke. Phase is dominoes. Oh, I got what, what used to be our game, Nikki? Dominoes, what used to be our game dominoes. back in the day? What was what, 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 no. uh, spade? It was a board game. Oh, oh. What we used to call it? Trouble? What? Uh-uh. We used to call it Million Dollar Monopoly. Monopoly. The Million Dollar Monopoly. Remember? We had to give out the million dollars. Yeah. It was the bigger money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that too. I can't believe it. Remember that shit. Remember that shit. Be so serious about Listen, the damn monopoly and that shit, game. And when you give out a million dollars, that game gonna go for a minute too. We used to be so serious about monopoly. Yeah. Like we used to be like chicken. What? We used to fry chicken, be drunk as hell. Listen, yeah. since you, I, I don't know if I can say that, but yeah, we crazy. used to like get real high with all kind of like little contraptions. What the fuck? What the <laughs> Remember the mask? <laughs> Jesse Vince, Jesse Vince, I'll type the ball. <laughs> we had the oh the hospital mask one time. I don't know where we found that shit from, but listen, good times, man. So many good times from from the time we met from kids, man. Always been like my girl. Always had my back. Always, always had my back. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Definitely. So you know, I'm gonna support you in everything that you do, sis. I just want to say that I am proud of you. You know, I love you. Anything that you're doing, I'm gonna support you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. We got to do better. Keep in touch more. Yes. Shout out Most to the fans, to the Murphy Squad, my sisters from another Mr. Love you guys. Really no doubt. So, this yes. is the last love question love that love I you. Ask. I love you more. I love you. Know, you know it's love. You know, listen, I'm going to spend a block about my sis. A couple really times. A yeah. couple times. But yes. one of the questions that I always ask before I end this show, okay. and I don't know if you've been watching and you watch the end of the show when I ask this question, it might be silly to some people, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm a kid at heart with the old soul. So one of the questions that I ask is if you could be any superhero, which one would you be and why? I will be... Hmm. The mm. Oh! And listen, them is some them stories for another time that I don't even That's know me. that <laughs> I want to talk about in front of you know what I'm saying because we women, you know what I'm saying at the end of the day. But these are the stories that, that listen. This this this. this OG, triple OG, triple, triple OG. The green for the heart. <laughs> the green. So explain why specifically you would be the Hulk. I would be the Hulk because 
out of all that toughness, the Huck is real. He's he's a real sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And I'm you know what I'm saying he he's he's sweet, very smart, mm -hmm. intelligent, mm -hmm. and can still get down on it. Take a lot to take him down. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I picked the hook. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got the best of both worlds, a big sweetie and a big meanie at the same time. Yep. And, and his favorite words is, you won't like me when I'm angry. Yes. Because I don't want to get angry. I just want to love and be loved. And, 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 and Nikki, big sexy, whatever you want to call her, is one of the sweetest people in the world. This, this person I know for a fact will give you the shirt off her back. But I was transforming the other night with there. the road race. Yeah, I, was, I was in the car like that. <laughs> We had a road race, we had a road race situation. I'm sitting here watching him the whole I'm time. When I tell you he's like, transforming, I'm like, calm down, like, calm down, it's okay. I'm Somebody was the red driving crazy. Following this motherfucker, I'm like, ah. <laughs> he's a road rager. He is a road no, rager. No, he doesn't. I've been cool. I was cool shit. He's a road rager. Until they start getting me crazy. They got me crazy. He's a road rager. I didn't know nothing until we be Jolly Rancher in court. <laughs> and this motherfucker did some weird shit. And then when I flipped, though, when my lights turned on. No, then, so was, we, so, okay, so remember another story time. So remember back in the day when we went to go see Jeepers Creepers, me, you, and Dion? Hell yeah. And remember when we was coming home, we thought somebody was following us in the truck. Remember oh, our yes. That story. This really happened. The Jeepers Creepers man. We thought I don't know who was this real high, but he was scared of hell. But it was a similar. It was a similar situation. We was coming home. We in the movies theater. Run, Billy. Run, Billy. <laughs> They're acting stupid. Oh my god. We used to have so much. We I wish Dion was here. Uh remember when she got the Mercedes and we, yeah. listen. Was well, it not not a Mercedes a Volvo? And remember she went and the got the letters time. and all that kind of stuff and we was riding around and then the next day it broke down. Yeah. <laughs> listen, she had like just that it was crazy. But yeah, we were her. driving home and somebody was flashing their lights like on like from dim to bright. No, like no. you know how when somebody no, trying to flag you down? I merged yeah. over well, first of all, they was in a turning lane. Right. So he over. merged in front of them. And when he merged in front of them, not aggressive. Because they was in a turning lane. So he merged in front of them on the other side or whatever, and they start flashing their lights. Oh, so, my ass. So we looking, because they, like, literally riding the bumper of his car. So we looking like, I'm like, okay, is they trying to stop you or whatever? So we slow down, and they pull over in front of us. Not pull over. They take off. And yeah, they kind of speed off in front of us or whatever. So I ain't paying no attention to it, but this person is having, like, a whole meltdown trying to stop himself from my, going my inner hawk crazy. He moving his shoulders yeah. and shaking yeah. and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, dude, calm it's down. All you hear was the whispers. This is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm about to go crazy. Yep, we about to go crazy. So now I'm on their ass bumper to bumper and I pull up to these pussies and look at them eye to eye, face to face and they couldn't even, yeah. Nope. So the inner hawk was it was coming out, but you know I already had a road rage. All I'm, I'm gonna save is, that story for another story yeah, time because I yeah. definitely beat somebody ass. Because all I'm thinking is, mm -hmm. and what I always think about now, and it is kind of like off topic. You know what I'm saying? I shaved my hair like two. I shaved my hair like two years ago. So you know what I'm saying? Like I'm back in the process of growing it back and all that kind of stuff. So whatever like situations happen and I feel like it's about to get real, I always think about I got a wig on. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to stay calm because I ain't gonna give a damn about this wig if I have to act stupid. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, um, wave. I'm trying to uppercut that coat takes out you, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> So, so Wade also said that he would be the Hulk. And why would you be the Hulk? Because I just said 
Because he just said, I, I don't want to get like mad. Him I, I don't like to get mad. I'm angry. You know, I'm not an angry person. I'm not a negative person. I love love and I spread love. And um, I think when you get me to that point, ain't no, ain't no stop. And, and, and she see me at my heart point. Actually, she came to my my motherfucking A like many dames and shit and calmed me down because I was yeah, I was on the edge about to do some wild, wild west shit. And nigga, it wasn't about to be nice for those niggas. Not me. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It was it was some stupid stuff that We're you know what I'm saying. Into it. We're not yeah. going to get into yeah. it. You 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 know, I'm she I'm can't. definitely she gonna ride with you right or wrong. But yeah, yeah, you know what I'm was... saying? If it's if it's something that's just totally, you know, preventable, there's no need to put yourself back in that situation. You know what I'm saying? But when it when it when it's there, it's there. We gotta do what I'm, we gotta I'm do. Put it out there like this. I'm never a bully or nothing, but I was provoked. And and having to be at a function and somebody literally pushed me and I had it on me and I could have French fried him and a couple other people. Okay, we're not gonna relive that yeah, moment. No, 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 yeah. Because it was something. It was some stupid stuff. Right. Well, and thank I, goodness I, I, that I, left, I called my Mary Jane, and my Mary Jane calmed me down. I was like, "Take your ass home. When I get to your house, be there. Now, go home." That was <laughs> what, that. That was how that went. Cause all that. Oh well, no, calm down. Was he wasn't hearing prayer. none of that. Was he prayer. wasn't hearing none of that. I was like, "Take your ass home right now. Go home. Just go, go the fuck home." And I'm coming. But anyway, again, because you know I was not your heart. with that. I come in peace. Come in so peace. my superhero would definitely be the Phoenix. Okay, I say that all the time. You know. But you gotta get the camera. You've been various awesome. for various reasons. I feel like I, I would be her. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's she doesn't know her own power. Mm -hmm. Don't you know what I'm that. saying? I'm not finna drink. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know her own power. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's other things about her that I also find relatable. You know, that's a little bit deeper, and we ain't going there. But for the most part. I feel like not knowing my own power. You know what I'm saying? I, I often can be my biggest enemy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, things that I I know that I can do, I'll second guess myself. I'm my own biggest exactly. critic. Like, I don't mean, and I, I'm my biggest fan and, my, and I'm my biggest hater. Like, so, you know, I don't really need other people for that. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I know at, at my full potential, you know, it's it's limitless the possibilities are limitless it's all about tapping into it and being able to control and maintain you know what i'm yeah. saying we get to that level so that's why i feel like um the thing thanks um so another yeah, one that i thought about and this is like throwback how do you uh how are you nikki okay 38 we are old so Y'all remember Firestarter? Yeah. The old Firestarter with yeah. Drew Barrymore. Yeah. That's the second one. Because, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she was innocent. And she didn't even realize the power that she had. You know what I'm saying? And when she was pushed to protect her family, to protect her father or whatever, it was yeah. curtains for everybody. And that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to protect my family. I'm going to protect what I love. And I, I, I'm in smoke in the city behind my mind. You're right. Definitely. So I was watching that. It came on the other day. We are, we listen. Everybody is drunk right now. This is the worst. <laughs> and but hey, I love it because this is the raw stuff. And you know, I'm listening, y'all. I'm just proud. no, no, I am too. But listen, you know, my imagination is like super, super big, and I Don't see all of this stuff right here just as like the beginning. And one day we're gonna look back and we're like, man, listen, this is where we started at. And this course, and kicking my leg, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I love y'all.
Thank y'all for tuning in. I really, I really, I really hope you know a lot of people get to see it or whatever before it gets removed and all that kind of stuff like that. But it's much love. I love you, sis. Everybody, tune into the den Sunday night, eight p.m. Tune in. We got some good stuff for y'all next week. We got another special guest. I'm not gonna tell y'all who it is right now, but y'all definitely tune in. Subscribe to the YouTube page, Ellie Jackson 25. Enter the den, people. Way. Mm. Waverly Jones, the round table, the round motherfucking table podcast. Spell it with a D A R O U N D. Fuck with me. Duh. Feel me. You feel me? The round table Duh. podcast. Everywhere on everything, you know what I mean? Support my babe, do then, you know what I'm saying? The um, then. Before we go, can we get a raw raw like a dungeon dragon from a lioness? Rawr! Oh, wow. <laughs> it is dope time. It's dope time. You Love you, sis.